Every time I try to record this video, someone in my neighborhood is cutting their grass. Hello everyone, my name is Gina and today I have another huge book haul for you. The last huge book haul I did was back in February I believe and it was the result of a book fair. This one is also the result of a book fair. I have book fair addictions apparently, but to be honest, when you see that a book fair is happening, you go to the book fair because books are really cheap and sometimes you can find great books there. That rhymed. Book fair. Fair. I have a lot of books to show you, so let's jump into it. I have a collection of ebooks, I have some books to show you that I got at used bookstores, and then I have the giant book fair haul for you, as well as a couple of books that I bought full price. There are only two of those, so overall it's not that bad. The first books that I'm going to talk about are the books that I got on my Kobo. However, I'm not going to be showing them to you on my Kobo because... They're black and white pictures, and it takes forever to load up the title page of the picture. So, insert picture here. The first one that I picked up was Before I Go to Sleep by S.J. Watson. I have been wanting this book for a while. It just sounds really interesting. Basically, Before I Go to Sleep follows the story of a girl, Catherine, I believe her name is. I don't remember the main girl's name. But basically it follows her to where every day she goes to sleep and essentially forgets everything that happened. So I'm really excited to finally have a copy of this and I cannot wait to read it. So I just looked it up on Goodreads. The main character's name is Christine. I think I said Catherine. The next two books that I got on my Kobo were both on sale and they are both by Rainbow Rowell. The first one I got is Fangirl. I have wanted to read this for a while, it seems to be huge on booktube, but the second book that I got by Rainbow Rowell is Eleanor and Park. The last book that I got on my Kobo was The Geek's Guide to Dating by Eric Smith. Everything I've heard about this book, I have thought that I would enjoy it. It sounds like a really good book, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to enjoy it, and I cannot wait to read it. It just sounds like fun and geeky and nerdy, which I am, so I'm pretty excited about that one. So the next few books I'm going to show you are all books that I found at used bookstores, with the exception of one. One of them I did get at Books A Million, and the book that I got from Books A Million was the 60th anniversary edition of Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury. I'm pretty excited about this. I really enjoyed reading this in high school. I don't own a copy of it because all the books that we read in high school we had to give back to the school. They didn't let us keep any. So since we didn't get to keep them in high school, I don't have a copy of this, but that's okay because I like this cover a lot better. Mr. Monster is the sequel to I Am Not a Serial Killer, also by Dan Wells. I'm really excited for this book. I cannot wait to read it. I loved I Am Not a Serial Killer. I've talked about it a little bit before on this channel, and I've heard that the second book is even more incredible, and I can't wait to read it. The next book that I picked up I have been wanting for a while, and that is The Book of Awesome by Neil Pes Pesricha, I think. I have wanted this book for so long, but it is not something that I have wanted to pay full price for, which is a common theme with used books, and that's why we buy used books. But basically, this book is what it says it is. It is a book of awesome. Inside, it has various different stories of just everyday things that are awesome. For example, nailing parallel parking on the first try, getting gas just before the price goes up, Waking up before your alarm clock goes off and realizing you have plenty of sleep time left. And basically it just goes through all these various different stories of everyday things that we take for granted and that are just completely awesome. And another thing that I really like about this copy in particular is that whoever had it before was sharing it with one of their friends because in it are little sticky notes with, I guess, whoever they ended up lending it to or whoever they were borrowing it from. And, you know, it's just kind of cool to see someone else's view on the book and to have their little notes going with it. And the last book that I got used before the book fair was Running With Scissors, a memoir by Augustine Burroughs. Alright, so instead of me trying to remember exactly what the synopsis is, because I know that I'm going to butcher it and probably tell you something wrong, I'm just going to read the synopsis 
from the Goodreads page. The true story of a boy whose mother, a poet with delusions of Anne Sexton, gave him away to be raised by her unorthodox psychiatrist who bore a striking resemblance of Santa Claus. So at the age of 12, Burroughs found himself amidst Victorian squalor living with the doctor's bizarre family and befriending the pedophile who lived in the backyard shed. The story of an outlaw childhood where rules were unheard of and Valium was consumed like candy and if things got dull, an electric shock therapy machine an electric shock therapy machine could provide entertainment. The funny, harrowing, and best-selling account of an ordinary boy's survival under the most extraordinary circumstances. It just sounds incredible and I just can't wait to see how he survived and what exactly he went through and it just sounds incredible. And now let's jump into the book fair books. So if you guys have watched my last book fair book haul, you know that I picked up a couple of Shakespeare books. Well, I'm apparently in a Shakespeare mood because I bought six more. <laughs> I ended up buying six more Shakespeare books because they were all a dollar and I don't have any of them. Some of them I've read in high school, some of them I haven't. But I don't know, I guess I'm in a Shakespeare mood because I just kept picking up these Shakespeare books. So to add to Romeo and Juliet and Hamlet, which I bought last time, I have picked up Julius Caesar, Macbeth, Othello, The Twelfth Night, A Midsummer Night's Dream, and The Tempest. I also picked up this double bind up of John Steinbeck's Of Mice and Men and Canary Row. The next book that I picked up was The Fisher King by Polly Marshall. The next book that I found I have actually seen on a friend of mine's bookshelf before and I read the synopsis and it sounded really good and I decided that I wanted to keep an eye out for it if I ever saw it used. The next, you know, within the next few days I went to this book fair and I found it and that is False Memory by Dean Koontz. Wicked by Gregory Maguire. I really do like this book cover because it's got a hole in it. Hey. And then you've got like the little cover page, you know, so it's a little peekaboo cover and it's just pretty cool. Again, no idea when I'm going to get to this, but I have it now and that's all that matters. These next five books are probably my most excited find at this book fair. The first one I picked up was Lucky by Alice Siebold. Another memoir that I picked up, apparently this is the Hall of Memoirs and Shakespeare, is Eat, Pray, Love by Elizabeth Gilbert. This book was everywhere at the book fair. Pretty much every five steps I took there was another copy of this book. So eventually I finally just gave in and decided this book is taunting me. I need to get it. So I found a copy that is in fairly good condition. The pages are still pretty white. The cover isn't really damaged or anything. So I went ahead and picked it up. And to continue the theme of true story memoirs, I picked up The Devil in the White City by Eric Larson. Pretty excited about this. Denny has this book. He picked it up a few months ago. It is essentially the true story of the 1893 World's Fair in Chicago, and it's about the creator of the World's Fair and a serial killer who used the World's Fair to lure his victims to kill them. He's a serial killer. The next book is another book that I've been wanting for a while. I have seen the movie. I loved the movie. I've been wanting the book. I've never actually seen the book out anywhere. I never actually went looking for it either, so I probably could have found it if I put more effort into it. But I saw it lying on top of a bunch of books at the book fair and I just had to have it. And that is extremely loud and incredibly close. And the last book that I got from the book fair is probably my most excited find from the book fair. I saw it at Barnes & Noble and I wanted to buy it, but I didn't. Is Never Hug a Nun by Kevin Killeen. Killeen? I think that's how you pronounce his name. Now the next book I also picked up the second day that we went to the book fair because the book fair was in the parking garage of a mall and right next to the parking garage of the mall there was a Barnes & Noble. So I mean come on, who doesn't go to the Barnes & Noble when it's right there? So the book that I picked up from Barnes & Noble, An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. This is the current book explosion book of the month for May and I'm super excited to read it. It just sounds really good. I will leave a link to the book trailer in the description below because honestly the book trailer is probably what made me want to buy this the most. Yes, it is the Booksplosion book and I did want to read it for Booksplosion, but pretty much it was the book trailer 
for why I wanted to pick this up. And it's just, this cover is very beautiful. And the thing I'm most excited about this book and the hardcover is inside the cover pages, there's a map. And inside the back cover pages, there's another map. I just love it when books have maps in them. I just think it's so interesting that you can actually figure out where in the book that it is. It's just very cool. So I'm hopefully going to get to this one this month because like I said it is the book explosion book of the month so hopefully I can get to it. Also that day I picked up another pop figure which if you can see I have Little Buddy the Elf and Groot. So this one I'm most excited about. I got Lumiere from Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast is my favorite Disney movie. Belle is my favorite princess. I'm pretty sure I've talked about this a number of times. But I'm pretty excited to find Lumiere because I have not seen Lumiere many places around me anyway. The book fair was a fair drive out. So I'm pretty excited to have him. Hopefully I will have the other Beauty and the Beast pop figures very soon. But for now, I've got to little Lumiere and he's just adorable. So the last book that I have to show you, I actually do not own yet as of recording this video. As soon as I get done recording this video, I'm going to go eat lunch, and then I'm going to go buy the book. So I will see you guys in a couple of seconds with the last book that I have to show you. And I'm back from the bookstore! Yay! And I lied, I bought two books at the bookstore. Yay! So, so, you know, we're gonna unbag these, you know like unboxing but it's not. So the first one that I got was on the bargain shelf and the only reason that I picked this up and up is because I've seen it on booktube and it sounds incredible and yeah. And that first book is Every Day by David Levithan. Levithan? Ah! Totally stumbling over his last name. But this book sounds incredible. Basically it is about a guy who every single day he wakes up in a new body. It could be the body of anybody. He has to figure out if he's a boy or a girl. He has to figure out who he is. And it just sounds really good and pretty excited that it was on the bargain shelf. So I got it for really cheap and it was the last copy that they had. So that's, that's why I picked it up and that is why I bought two extra books. All right, ready for this? This, this is why I went to the bookstore. Ta-da! A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Moss. Super excited for this, guys. I'm probably going to go start reading it, like, ASAP, even though I'm in the middle of a library book that I really need to finish, but I don't really care. I, I want to read this so badly, so badly. I don't know too, too much about what this is. I do know that it is a Beauty and the Beast retelling with fairies and magic and that the world is divided between fae and human, but they know that each other exists, and that's really all I know. I just know that it is getting a lot of hype on booktube. It came out on Tuesday. Super excited to now have it, and, and, there's a map! I love books with maps, as I have said previously in this video. And also, like I said previous in this video, it's Beauty and the Beast retelling, and Beauty and the Beast is my fave. So I had to get it. And thanks to Crafted Van on Etsy, I have the most perfect bookmark to go with this book. My little Belle, because she's so pretty. And it's Beauty and the Beast retelling. And it's amazing. And I'm so excited. And I'm going to go read it now. Okay, bye. So that is all that I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you've read any of these books and what your thoughts are on them. I'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you have not subscribed yet, I'll make it really easy on you. Just go ahead and click on Lumiere, and you can subscribe. Thanks again so much, guys. As always, links to everything will be in the description below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Because I really don't feel like they need any explaining, explaining, Dan Wells. This is the sequel, oh my god, the lawnmower. And now another neighbor is mowing his grass, and this one is closer. I also picked up Dr. Faustus by Christopher Malo. Marlo? Marlo. I also picked up Dr. Faustus by Christopher Malo. Marlo. Marlo. I also picked up Dr. F by Gregory Mugwe. So looking at the viewfinder, I realize now that my shirt's probably really creepy. Hey. But it's my Night Vale shirt from the Investigators. Mm -hmm.